Hey everyone, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow MySpacers and YouTubers. Today I want to talk to you about a video about a rant I just did, but apparently they cut you off for comments at 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So, I'm going to cut down to the BS. This is to a girl who told me that she tells her brother all the time she shouldn't, he shouldn't uh, breed. Well, that's your damn brother. You keep telling him that, but you leave me alone baby. You're cramping my style as the movie 2012. I have so much time on my hands. I've raised two children already that I got more experience under my belt than you. Now, if you have experience, then you're in deep stealth mode. You're hiding all your experience. So technically, I could give two craps about it. Now, the other thing is, is I have a family member who is a disabled, who's uh, married another disabled woman. They got a kid that's got an IQ of like 190. He is a freaking genius. So before you think disabled person goes with a, a, a woman who helps having children, for example, and you think the offspring is going to turn out disabled, maybe you should wake up and smell what you're shoveling. Ripley's, believe it or not, even proved that it is, you know, just a myth. You people out there need to wake up and smell what you're shoveling. Because frankly... Uh, you guys are just cramping my style. I mean, I have hope. I have faith. I will get through it all. Yeah. And what's that mean? It means I, in time, maybe will. But right now, I have to accept the fact that it's not going to happen. Because every time I turn around, lady, this is what's irritating me, is you. You say you like positive people. Well, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm positive. It's 1% I'm negative. And right now I'm negative because of your damn comment. Now, I have an irritability at the moment. My mother has died. As you know, thank you for the uh, condolences, by the way. Um, I'm irritable because every time I turn around, I get the same scammer. What happens? The same scammer gets blown. Her account gets taken down by Facebook. And then she comes back. And then it starts over. I ban her, I report her. I ban her, I report her. What happens? Then I get another girl who's a massive scammer. Same thing. However, she banned me for being drunk one night and she her IP apparently, from what I understand from Facebook, was in uh, uh, Nigeria. So, but then I, I say, okay, well someone's playing games with me. So I look into it, find out this person's a scammer tied to this person, the scammer that's tied to this one. Then next thing you know, I've gotten 20 accounts closed down because they're all linked to scammers. In MySpace, now I was looking into it. Well, what happens? Yeah, I'm irritated. Irritated. I thought I might have had someone that could help me. Yeah, maybe they had a screw loose, but still, better than anything, right? Well, technically it didn't work because it was a scammer. Now, I'm irritated about that. I'm irritated about other things. First they wanted $1,200, then they wanted $800, then they wanted $400, then they wanted $200. I don't have it, and I'm getting some money soon anyways for uh, the death of my mother. But that's in the future, 30 days or less. Now, listening to you all sit there and say, oh, yeah, well... You know, this or that, or you shouldn't have kids. Well, yeah, that's because you're afraid of the uh, the repercussions of it or whatever. Financially, you don't know what I bring in, lady. And you don't even know. My physical ailments is my back uh, with arthritis. Uh, they, I have a curve, which they want to put pins and rods in, but that could paralyze me, which I won't. I have arthritis in my knees and my hands. The hands are because of the video games. So... Now you're telling me I can't raise a family because it's bad? I've raised two people, basically, on my own, pretty much. They turned out to be good kids, but I want my own. I can call my own. And since I have too much time on my hands, that would leave me... Yeah, too much time on my hands. Oh, and about the showers and stuff. I shower daily, so I don't brush my hair every day. I don't have time to do it. I'm wearing hats, and if you notice, it's freaking... 12 degrees outside right now. We are got a cold front coming in. And we got snow on the ground. And we got more coming. Yeah. So before you sit there and be, oh, yeah, well, you know, you shouldn't have kids. Maybe you shouldn't be the one having kids. Financially, 
Yeah, I could raise family. That's not a problem. If you're worried about the funeral or the uh, uh, the the hospital bill, well, we'd come to that when we come to it. The problem is, it's not going to happen. I just got to accept it. But you, being so damn negative on it, thinks, oh well, I'll just say you know. Well, then we'll keep telling your brother that because frankly, I'm not listening on it. Yeah, I have too much time on my hands. I do videos. I play video games. I read. I listen to music. And if you had a kid, you teach it to be negative. Yeah, that's right. So before you do whatever, you better wake up and see what you're shoveling. Because frankly, that's the way you are uh, being. So, I'm not negative. I'm positive. I'm an open book. I uh, share my experiences. Heck, I have a Zanga account I keep as a backup blog account for real life experiences. Yeah, and right now... People always ask me, when will I post? When will I post? Well, lately I've been posting about scammers and other things. Yeah. So, uh, before you go and say, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't have kids. Maybe you should wake up and smell what you're shoveling. Because the only negative one I see right now is you, not me. Usually I'm happy. I mean, heck, I made Christmas videos. It makes me happy. I went to the post office today. That made me happy. I went into the liquor store today to talk about some stuff that I want them to bring in. That made me happy. Reading your comment, that didn't make me happy. So I had to uh, send a, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, uh, a blastogram video. Yeah, a rant. So, before you keep saying negativity, maybe you should think before you open mouth, insert foot. Because, frankly, I don't like the fact that you're being negative. Frankly, I don't think you could probably raise a family. I mean, look at you. You don't have a picture. You're probably in deep stealth mode, and you don't give two craps about different things. Yeah, you subscribe to me, but that's because I have probably experiences. Now, if you want to un unsubscribe, that's fine. But frankly, I do not like the negativity of you telling me certain things. You sound bad as my sister. And my sister disowned me because she was one greedy little biznatch that took everything and gave me a few pictures. And what I get is a few dollars when the when the time comes. But everything else, everything. She took everything out of my mom's house. So, that's another irritation. And I found out over the years, she's the one that screwed me out of everything. I was positive on it, but I didn't have proof until she spilled, the, spilled it after mom died. Proof is in the pudding, they say. So I've lost over a quarter million dollars of my property in a storage shed in 2001. I, um, I um, lost several checks from Social Security, which I reported, even banks, because of her. So all in all, before you go and be negative, why don't you see how much I've gotten the shaft? I got the shaft again because I'm vulnerable. And guess what? Now I got Facebook watching my account closely because... They want to make sure I don't get any more scammers. I mean, lately I got a guy who was in the military who is a scammer too. It was a fake picture. IP came out to Nigeria. I got another girl today that messaged me and says, Oh, uh, I just added you. Well, some scammer basically decided um, to uh, try to scam me from Italy. Again, the IP came back to Nigeria. So, I got two people on my friends list, which MySpace is working on removing them, because... They're from Italy, and they're, uh, they're uh, scammers. So, we got scammers. And Aaron, he's got scammers now. So, technically, we're being played on all sides, and then you got to sit there and be, well, you should have kids because you can't financially take care of them, or uh, physically. Physical, I have very few physical disabilities. I got a couple mental ones, but that's PTSD, basically. And I'm not going into the other one. Now, you... You might be just perfect and flawless behind your uh, your computer, but me, at least I don't hide who I am. So, before you go and judge others, remember, you will be judged in time, too. So, no hard feelings. Now, I got to upload this, and I'm done for the day. I got, um, I got pies to make, six of them for tomorrow's dinner. I got ham, turkey, and prime rib to cook. So, hasta lasagna, don't get any on you, please leave comments and suggestions in the box. Thank you. Oh, and did I mention I'm doing a pork tenderloin and a lamb too. Big dinner. Woohoo!